Hey folks, Todd here from Image Wash Products. Coming to you today, do a uh, wash demo video for you guys. Uh, a friend of mine just got back, being two weeks gone, and uh, he volunteered to bring his truck down so we could give a demonstration for you guys to see. Um, as you can see already, it's full salt. Um, he's been down to Florida for two weeks and then came up through the Carolinas and so on. So he's been on all the good stuff. But uh, we just wanna show you some stuff here to help you out. Whether you guys bought the product already or haven't bought it, this is some knowledge that we can pass on to help making your wash experience more enjoyable and be satisfied with the results. Um, yeah, I'll be honest, it, it's a struggle if you don't use the wand correctly. Um, we're not trying to portray that this is a magic soap that you just foam on and you can rinse off of the garden hose. There's a lot more to it than that. Um, biggest thing is using your wand correctly Keeping it straight in line with the surface, keeping it six inches away as much as you can. Um, I have the hood open on this, so I'm gonna use the products on the engine too. It, they're totally fine for that. And that way I can get the neutralization of the salt kind of in all the nooks and crannies up there also. Um, another thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna brush the side, the driver's side stack, and we're not gonna touch the passenger side. That way you guys can see what brushing does and what this stuff will do without brushing. Um, I drove truck for a long time, <clears throat> so I understand the frustrations of the residue that gets left behind on the stack and so on. Just because of the heat from the exhaust, it likes to burn that stuff in there. So we're gonna do that and then in the morning, we're gonna show you guys the difference between the two and the, how, the outcome of the truck. So I'm gonna two-step it, brush that stack, rinse it off. We're gonna use deionized water so it don't leave any water spots. Um, that's a time saver that I found in my detail shop to be extremely useful. Time is money and a lot of us don't have time anymore. So we're trying to make things easy for everybody and neutralize salt, keep it clean. You can use it in the winter time, you can use it in the summer. It works good too if you got just some bugs and dirt. This stuff works awesome for that, keeps it simple and easy. But let's get going on the washing and you guys can see the results later.
Hey folks, Todd from Image Wash Products. Uh, we're here day two. We washed this rig yesterday with our two-step, our touchless one and two. And I just wanted to go over the truck so you guys can see my mistakes where I didn't use my wand properly and show you the difference between using it properly and not and the things you miss. Um, this truck, like I said, was two weeks since it's been washed. So it's been all the weather elements, salt, rain. So we'll just kind of walk through it and I'll point out things that I noticed now that it's dry. And that way you guys can see what happens when you don't use the wand properly. So we'll start up front here. The tires, rims look good, uh, fenders look good. I mean, you can, you can put your finger on it and you can see a light, light grime there. Yep, see that light grime? So that's A, either I missed it and didn't do a good job because up here, you can't really see a grime. So most of the time when I see that, I that was my mistake. Um, you got your cans here. You got a lot of runoff here. Like I said, this is soap and salt residue from underneath. Um, that's a big issue. When you got light bars like that and you're in the salt that long. That salt likes to get up in there, and if you don't constantly, you got to rinse and rinse and rinse to get that out. If you go through a beacon, you get the same thing. It's just a bad poor rinse on my part. Um, go up here. This is the stack that I brush, so you can see it's, it's definitely clean. I'm gonna zoom in on it here real quick. Yeah, so you can see that's real clean. Yep. Yep. So you can see that's clean there. Now on these on these trucks with sleepers, you see a lot of uh, I call them like uh, water dirt patterns where the water from the road is streaking down the side, and you'll see it a lot up towards the corner of the sleepers. Down here, not so much, but you can you can finger swab this thing, and um, it's pretty clean. I I'm, I'm happy with that. I wish we had these products when I was driving, because it would make it a lot easier. And also you're neutralizing your salt, especially this time of year. So another issue on this part is if you come in, Adam, you're gonna see the white crust. That's the salt, the residue. So I did not do my due diligence in cleaning that out. Um, that's another part when you guys are washing, make sure you get in those crevices because that creates corrosion not only on your lights, but also on the, on the paint itself. Down on the tank here, this is just, <clears throat> this is salt from underneath. Some, this is soap here, but um, yeah, I, I didn't rinse as good, but if you look up in there, you can see the salt still. So that's another key part of getting that wand up in there, rinsing it really good, and just keep rinsing and rinsing and rinsing come towards the back here so if you see at the right angle hopefully you can show them the yeah. top three feet of that sleeper that's 
that's the thing that we want to tell you guys is you want to that's where your your contact comes in right so i had a 60 inch lance yesterday and that's what that's what i got but if you look down here you don't have anything so that shows you the difference of being up top so there's two options that you can do to help eliminate that that would well actually three you can brush it because you know you can't get it good with the lance you can get a longer lance like they make we sell a 79 inch or you can get on a ladder with your 60 inch or 48 inch but if you're doing it outside in the winter time most likely I would brush it it's just a little more safer that way now another part in here is your deck plate you can see exactly right there I did not get that good I totally missed that watch basically the whole thing because like I said <laughs> it's another contact issue right if I would have had a shorter lance I probably could get it flat flatter and get it better um, same thing on the fenders if you notice the bottom a light residue the top you can see you can see exactly where I did not get good contact with the lance um, so yeah that's that's another thing is how fussy you want to get right this is a maintenance wash but uh, if you choose to brush this by all means it just cuts a lot of your brushing time down on the on the surfaces you can't get a good contact angle if you look at the frame the frame cleaned up really nice um yeah i don't see a lot of salt and sand in there so i'm pretty i'm happy with that the rims they are they're durabrites obviously but um yeah they're cleaned up good tires are nice and shiny <laughs> we go to the back here light bars um i did not brush these yeah i mean you can't you can't go wrong with there but like i said that that's a lower part so i have a better contact right i'm closer to the, the surface here um yeah kind of the same thing on this side we talked about that we talked about this you can see some residue in the back there that's that's me it's my fault i did not clean that good so that shows you when you just rinse the soap off and not use the wand properly that's the result you're gonna get um but yeah i can't stress enough getting this stuff out of here it's you don't want to get too close where you blow the paint out but at the same time you want to get as much soap and stuff in there and water when you rinse as possible so you don't have that issue uh, another thing here is that this is a lot of runoff residue from underneath here again there's a lot of salt underneath there so this stack this is the side that i did not brush so you can see basically from that clamp hanger down you got some runoff here but this stack is pretty clean you go up past that where I had my bad, my bad angle, right? I couldn't reach that straight on. You see the residue on there yet? So that's that shows you right there that you want to brush the top of the stacks if you can't get them with your wand properly. Um, yeah, the cans cleaned up pretty good on this side. So I'm gonna pop the hood and show you what it did underneath, so you can see. It help neutralize the salt. It just it clean the frame up really good. Um, yeah, kind of the same thing on the other side. Get kind of all in these nooks and crannies and so on. You can see on the visor it, it did, I would say 80% clean. But we just want to <clears throat> tell you guys that yeah, like I said, this is a maintenance wash. We call it touchless, but if we want to get, if you're more particular about getting those things super clean, then you got to pull out the brush and do that. But yeah, so any thoughts or questions, give us a call or email us and uh, we'd be glad to talk to you guys and help you out. So, all right.